Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I hope you are well. Today's video is one where you can just close your eyes and listen to my voice as I <laughs> yammer on and on as I show you some of my brooch collection. I know you've seen some of them in past videos and you've asked me about them and so I thought I would show you many of them. I have quite a brooch collection that I've collected over the years and I'll show each one to you, talk a little bit about it and maybe lightly tap on it. There isn't going to be a whole lot of other triggers, just my voice and showing you these brooches similar to the one I have on and maybe just some sounds of the brooches. I have many more than I'm going to show you. I just haven't sorted them yet. I have some boxes of jewelry that I haven't unpacked or unboxed and put away. So I'll get to those someday. What I keep my brooches in besides a couple of big jewelry cases that I have for the ones that I wear the most, I keep it in this. I'll show you. This hangs up nicely on a knob in my closet on a cupboard. Or it hangs up on the rod out of the way. And it keeps them protected. This is double-sided, so when I find my others, I can add them to this. plastic and fabric container makes some nice sounds in and of itself. So I hope you can just tune out, relax, watch or don't watch. Close your eyes, perhaps, and just drift away to the sound of my voice, 
and listen to me talk about my brooches. And if you're watching, if you happen to watch, maybe someday you'll see me wearing each of these. So, we'll start with the one that I have on. Today I'm wearing blue topaz. It's a set my husband bought me many years ago, and I love it. It's not my birthstone. My birthstone is amethyst, and I love amethyst, February, but I also love blue topaz. And so this brooch matches perfectly with this set, even though it didn't come with this set. It's actually really old. I'll show you. <clears throat> so that is my first brooch that I'm showing you. So now I'm going to put the camera overhead so that I can zoom in and you can see the detail of each brooch as I explain it. Again, I hope you find this very relaxing and comforting and that it helps you drift off to a nice, relaxing rest. So, the first one I'll show you is this really pretty gold horse. And this was given to me by a friend because she knew I was into horses and she thought I would enjoy it, and I do. I wear this on the lapel of many of my jackets when I go out. Off the top of my head, I would say this looks like either a warm blood because of that big round neck, for those of you who know horses, um, short-backed, <laughs> but that, that curve of that neck is very warm, warm bloodish, Iberian, like a Pura Raza Española, which I used to ride, or, Span you know, Spanish horses. Um, but warm bloods have that great big bend to their neck. So that's the first one, and I love this one. One that I have that is similar is this one, and it's very, very much alike, is in silver. And again, you see that big, exaggerated neck. But the face is a little different, which makes me feel like this one is more of a um, an Arabian because they have that kind of that protruding forehead and then that dip in their nose, you know, in their in between their eyes and down that curve, and his tail is definitely smaller, or I shouldn't say smaller, less full than that one. So they're very similar. So I have one in silver and one in gold. So, those are my two horsies. I love them. Okay. I'll put those out of the way here. Okay. Now, I have a lot of animals, as you'll see. And here's one I love to wear. It is a hummingbird. 
it is a and you can tell how you're supposed to wear it by the direction of the pin so it's really like this so it's got diamonds on the head and one that's semi darker for the eye and they're not real diamonds so I don't think they are anyway they could be I don't remember where I've gotten most of these but I'm going to assume most of them aren't real diamonds. But I could be wrong. That'd be great if I were wrong. <laughs> so this is my hummingbird. And then, along with the animal theme, I love this one. It's my little pig my little piggy and he is full of diamonds on his body and he's got a big smile on his face now I forgot that he was on something that I was wearing and he went through the wash and he's missing one of his diamonds right down here in his lower hip area so, I love this pig. Okay, another. Let's see if I can... Here's another kind of an animal. And I love this. Look at this. It's a scorpion. No jewels on the scorpion. He's just strong without any adornment. So, that's my scorpion. My older brother, who I lost um, a while back, uh, was a Scorpio. So when I wear this, I think of my brother, Brian. Okay. Okay, now, this is old. This is very old. And I don't think these are real diamonds either. I could be wrong. But that's a big diamond if that's a di real diamond. And it reminds me of um, the one I'm wearing now that's in blue. But this is very clear. Oh, and it's even missing one right here. That's how old it is. Probably from one of my grandmothers. Okay, now, you know, brooches go back to the Bronze Age, and mm, you see lots of pictures of royalty wearing brooches, queens and kings. And this reminds me of something you would see from the Bronze Age. You know, they had those pins that would hold their cloaks together. So, this is, I like this one. It just kind of reminds me of something Celtic, even though there aren't any Celtic knot. You know, there's no Celtic knot work on this. It just reminds me of something they would have worn. My other brother was an artist. I lost him too. Um, and he used to draw beautiful artwork. He's got a few books out. Um, and he shows some of these brooches that he drew on some of the Celtic women. Um, his book, one of his books was called Swords, An Artist's Devotion. And he's got some beautiful work in there. Okay. Okay, next. 
see if I have any. Oh, yes, I have more animals. Let's go back to animals. Okay, look at this guy. I love him. Look at that. He is actually, I think, no, it goes like this, yeah. He's my panther, and he's got a diamond collar and green emerald eyes. Can you see those? Does that focus in? So, I wear him or her when I'm wearing either all black or all ivory or even green because the eyes are green. And I just love that. Okay. Let's see. Do I have more animals? Yes, I do. You may have seen me wear the white version of this octopus. I have two of these, one in white and one in blue. And I love octopi. I think they are one of the most amazing creatures on Earth. And I watch a lot of videos with people who have an octopus in their tank and they talk about how close they are. And they, the octopus will come up and come on the hand and, um, you know, they're loving. And if you haven't seen the movie, My Octopus Teacher, I would recommend that. And also a book called, the book was called Remarkably Bright Creatures. Fantastic book. And I've fallen in love with octopuses ever since then. I don't know where my white one is. I think it's on a jacket in my closet somewhere. So, isn't he gorgeous? Okay, let's find more animals. Oh, you're going to love this one. Look at this. We're kind of on to sea life. It's a turtle. And he's got all kinds of different colored crystals, two big black eyes. Oh, maybe it's a she. But I love this. The thing about this is it's very heavy, so I have to wear this with a very structured jacket. Otherwise, it could pool on a blouse. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. Hello. Okay. Let's find... Okay, here comes another amazing one. Look at this. Oh, here, let me put him over here. Look at this. Elephant. I love elephants, too. I love all animals. I'm just, I'm a sucker when it comes to just about any animal. So, big, beautiful, lots of jewels, somebody riding him up above. He's just gorgeous. And again, he's very heavy, so, um... I would have to wear that on something strong. Isn't he gorgeous? Okay, I'll put him over here. Okay, oh. All right. You're gonna like this one. And I think I've worn this recently. It is, oops, here. Try to keep the pins closed so they don't bend. But I love this dragonfly. Lots of beautiful colors. Look at that. I 
used to, I have to tell you, hate dragonflies because um, when I was a little girl, I had an aunt um, who was like a grandmother to me because she raised my mom when my mom's mother passed away. And she used to tell me that dragonflies would bite off a chunk of your ear if you told a lie. And being a little kid who liked to, you know, spin a yarn or two, I was always afraid they were going to come bite my ear. So maybe they helped keep me honest. But I just love this guy. He's so beautiful, huh? Or she. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's another animal. Oh, you're going to love this one, I think. Look at Hello Kitty. Riding in an airplane or flying an airplane. And look at all the beautiful different colored crystals. Can you see these? Isn't that gorgeous? Again, very heavy. So, you have to wear something strong like a jacket. This couldn't really go on a blouse. It's very heavy from all the diamonds and jewels. Not, not really, but I just love this one. Okay, now... Let me make some room here. You know, this one, this little horse is really heavy. So I suspect it is either pewter or something like that. So I'll make some room here. And these are most of my animal brooches. And now here's Here's another one that probably I got from a grandmother and it's just a circle, very common. This is probably from the, oh, I'd say maybe the 50s or the 60s. Very simple, but you know, I can't tell what these stones are in between these ivory colored ones. Probably just crystals, but you know, with my grandparents, you never know. You never know, right? Okay, here's another one I've worn that's very old. And I like this because it's very classic. A big pearl type stone here and little pearls here. And it just goes with everything. And I think I've worn videos with this. So you may recognize this. It's so pretty. up here and I think with old brooches round wreath type designs were very common and here we have gold or ro type of a rose gold and pearls and I love this one it's actually in really good shape now let's see if I can show you whoops See how pretty that is? And it just goes with everything. 
just everything and it but it doesn't scream out very loudly like this one would this is very uh fun and this is very classic okay here's another very classic design and it would go like that and it's just a little bit of quiet adornment and I actually wear this a lot when I go out I can wear this on a sweater or even on a blouse it's kind of heavy but you know it's small enough that I can wear it and it won't pull too much on the fabric but again a very classic design and I'm which is kind of what I'm going to be showing you right now these are all pretty classic designs look at this one wow look at that isn't that gorgeous it's got a pearl here and um, kind of a bow design and Okay, you guys, you need to make some room. You need to make some room. So, this is also a very classic shape that goes with just about anything. And it's heavy, so again, that would have to go on a jacket. I love this one. And this has blue and green swirls around these diamond flowers. Let me see if I can show you up close. Isn't that pretty? I love that. While most of them are you know, gold or silver. I love that this has green and blue. Now, here is a really interesting one. And you have to wear this with the right outfit. It's actually all in black. And so it doesn't stand out. And it's like, let me show you the lady. See that? And I can wear this if I'm in all like ivory or wearing all black. And it's weighty, so I wouldn't want to put this straight on a blouse. But it's got some interesting relief see her hair? Let's see if I can get that. Look at that. I love this. I think that is so beautiful. I love that. Okay. And here is another very classic design. Kind of a flower very much like this one with a big pearl type centerpiece and it's kind of weighty too so I, I, I don't know I wouldn't put this on a blouse either I'm afraid it would pull and I don't like poking blouses I will for a sweater because you can you know but these can damage the pins can damage a blouse, silk, or satin. So this is really nice, very subtle. Okay, and oh boy, I thought I was getting to the end. I will show you one I love. Oops. Okay, 
Now look at this one. I'm pretty certain these are not real diamonds because they would be worth a lot. But isn't that pretty? And this can be worn just about on anything. It's very subtle but super sparkly. See? Isn't that cute? So I might wear this up high on like a turtleneck, like on the, you know, the neck part. So, and it's a square design, which is pretty different from most of these. There are, most of these are rounded. Okay, now, here's one I love to wear. Look at that. It's a crown, the crown jewels. And these black stones here are kind of flanked on either side by some gold flowers and then diamond um, little highlights on top and down below as well. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this. But that's not why I wear it. I just love this crown. It's unique. Okay. And then this is big and loud. all in pink crystals and the centers are round ones and these are diamond shape or not diamond shape but kind of oval and this is heavy so again this has to be on something really strong to hold that up Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? That is dramatic. Okay. And then I'll show you another old set that I have here. And I think I've worn these in a video. Here is the brooch, and it actually goes like this. Okay, you guys, make room for your brothers and sisters. Okay, so it's a leaf, and I love wearing this in the fall. See how pretty that is? And it's very light and delicate. And sparkly, but there are no crystals in it. Just very lightweight, but look what comes with it. Ready for this? Earrings. Earrings. And they're clip-on earrings. Golly, remember these? So these are clip-on earrings. And I wear them. My earlobes get a little numb after a while and sore. <laughs> First sore, then numb. But I love this set. Very, very retro. Very mid-modern. Uh, or I should say very mid-century modern. I'm thinking of my friend, Mid-Mod Meridian. She would love these. Okay, now... Yes, the resistance. The final two pieces I'm going to show you. I got from my mom. Here, let me move these. Let's see. Let's put these over here. I'll put this big guy over there and move these over here. And this is, these are both from my mom. Three dancing reindeer doing. <laughs> Some high kicks.
Christmas, of course. Rudolph isn't in here because there's no one with a red nose, but there's a candy cane, a green bow tie, a gold necklace on this one, and a red scarf on this one, a big ornament on his antlers, and a Santa hat. So that's one, and look at this one. And here's Rudolph because he's got his red nose. So I love this one too. I wear these two at Christmas time. And um, they're pretty heavy. So those two are very special to me as well. So there you have. Let's see. I'll go back out. Most, most of my brooches. Not all. Like I said, I have, I have, I have several that are on jackets that are in my closet. Um, <laughs> I forgot to do a roundup of them all. So, yeah. So my question to you is, which one is your favorite and why? I have several favorites and of course for different reasons, you know, either because of the uniqueness or something sentimental like these silly ones here just because my mom, <laughs> is, she was the kind of person, and my mom is still alive, just so you know, but um, she's in an assisted living facility, and, um, and she's doing well enough. So anyway, but there's a lot of um, some memory things going on, and, you know, it's, there's some sadness there for me. Because, because I, I miss having someone to share my past with. Since my, both my brothers are gone and my father is gone, my mom's pretty much all I have left for my, from my childhood, and she's losing those memories, and so I'm kind of alone with those memories. And I don't have anyone to really talk about with them and say, hey, you remember when this happened or that happened. And that's okay, you know? That's part of life, and I get it. I get it. But sometimes my heart is a little overfull, overflowing with emotion. So my mom would wear, a, you know, a corny Christmas sweater. <laughs> and then wear these. So this that's why these remind me of her. Yeah, so. Sweetest woman in the entire world ever. My mom. So. I want to hear from you about what you like. And if you have brooches, Start wearing them. Let's bring brooches back. I think it's an amazing way to, you know, adorn what you're wearing. And they can have special meanings or just something that you like that caught your eye in a charity shop or secondhand shop or something like that. I'd like to start collecting, looking for and collecting more of the Celtic type of brooches and clasps, you know, kilt pins, lapel pins. You know, they were more of a fastener. I'd like to 
start collecting those just because they're beautiful. I'm Irish, mostly Irish, and it would be kind of a cool homage to my brother, the artist. So there you have it. So there you have my, most of my brooch collection. And like I said, I don't know where I got most of them. When something catches my eye, like at a charity shop or something, I might just grab it. Or if I see it, you know, at a store um, or online, I like to get things like this. So, again, tell me your favorite and if you have any. And I'd love to read about that in the comments. Do you have any special brooches? Something from a grandmother? A mom? Great-grandmother? Or even, you know, if you've got a male relative who wore a kilt, maybe that. So, I'm signing off for now. I hope this was relaxing. I wish you well, and peace, and love. Thank you for being here on my channel. I appreciate you more than I could possibly say. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next video. I just stabbed myself with a brooch, and my finger is bleeding.